Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we finally got our World Junior Card update. Obviously with the tournament being cancelled, EA had to do something about the upgradable World Junior Cards and we got our answer. So today they announced that every single card went up plus 2 in overall, meaning that the 86s went up to 88s, and then they used the sim that they did prior to the event to basically name gold, silver, and bronze. So Finland got an additional plus one, so the Finland cards went up from 86 to 89. The US got second, so they got an additional plus two going up to 90 overall. And then the Canadians got gold, getting the full plus five from 86 to 91. So I'm gonna cover all of the cards, go through them, and kind of talk about their impact on the market. If you guys enjoy the video, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe for the most up-to-date NHL news, tips, and info. All right, let's get into the video. All right, we'll start with the 88 Jesper Wall. Wallstead, six foot three with silver post to post has sparked distributor as well as protector and well-rounded. Honestly, a nice mix of stats as well as aggression and that silver post to post ability. He's not a bad goaltender at all. We'll take a look at all of these cards in the auction house live. This is on PlayStation 5. 40k is the base for him. I probably wouldn't pay want to pay that much. And the reason why it's so expensive is just because of the sets for team of the year. So keep that in mind. That is inflating. Some of the cards I don't think are as valuable. Um, but again, getting up to 88, I'd still probably use it in a set for a team of the year if you hadn't already, but not a bad card at all. Next from Austria, we've got the 88 Martin, your bandit, five foot eight with fly the zone as well as workhorse and bombarded or a magician with shutdown. He is a right-handed defenseman at five foot eight. It doesn't matter at all. Unfortunately, five foot eight, it's just unusable in your own zone. Um, just too small, unfortunately, on the back end. There's no way you're going to get absolutely crushed, and you're not going to be able to get the puck back no matter what. So this is a hard pass all the way around. From Germany, we've got the 88 Joshua Szymanski with Workhorse and Wingman, as well as Light the Lamp and Heart and Soul. He is an 88 overall, six foot one center with 88 speed, 89 acceleration, and decent defensive stats, 89 on the draws, 90 defensive awareness with synergies activated, and the 99 shot power is obviously pretty nice as well. We'll take a look at what he's going for. It should be the bare minimum. There's none up right now, but I would expect that it goes for about 40,000 coins. Honestly, if you have him and you're a free-to-play team, you have him untradeable, let's say, I would just use this in a set for Team of the Year for some collectibles. Then from Austria, we also have the 88 Senna Peters, six-foot center with Light the Lamp and Applesauce, as well as Distributor and Magician. Gets his speed up to 89, acceleration to 87. The agility is at 98, and his shot is pretty lit as well. The shot power is up at 99, and the accuracy is in the mid-80s. Hand stats are all in the mid to high 80s as well. Defensively, he's got good face-offs, but defensive awareness and stick checking are both kind of low for an 88 overall. You can do much better in terms of centermen, so uh, this would be a set fodder uh, or sell if you can. From the Czech Republic, we've got the 88 Jan Mysek, a left winger with Magician and Spark, as well as Booming Shot and Gladiator. I really like that combo of synergies. Uh, Spark and Booming Shot would get his body checking up to about 87 with acceleration into the 90s. His shot is really good in the mid to high 90s as well. Honestly, if you're a free-to-play, you're just starting out with your team, this could be a nice left-handed winger because of his high shot because you're not going to be able to find many 88 overall cards with the elite shooting that he has. This is definitely a usable card. Russia, we've got the 88 Alexander Mers and Baliev, five foot nine. And that's just really tough to use at center. He's got Gladiator Light the Lamp as well as Thief, so he does get his defensive stats up a little bit more. But there's no way I would recommend him at center. So on the wing, it's not awful at 89 speed, 89 acceleration. But if you're going to use someone five foot nine, he needs to be in the 90s for speed at this point. Just going to get bumped off the puck way too easily. From the Czech Republic, we've got the six foot three David Juracek, a right defenseman with buzzing and wingman, as well as booming shot and bombarded. Buzzing would get him up to 87 speed, and his agility quite high. His slap shot is honestly pretty nuts. The problem is, is that in NHL 22, one-timers cleanly just don't go in nearly as often as they did in prior games. He does have very good defensive awareness and stick checking at 92 overall. His speed is obviously just a really tough. If you have him untradeable, you could use him on your team. I don't know how many other right-handed defensemen that are as big as him you're going to be able to get that have nice speed like this. Like John Carlson, for example, would be a comp that's in the higher 80s that has a little bit better skating. But if you can activate buzzing on him, this should be 
somewhat usable as long as you pair him with someone fast. Then from Slovakia, we've got Michael Ivan with Bombarded Light the Lamp as well as Applesauce, a six foot one left handed defenseman, 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 98 agility, 99 shot power, which is nice, 94 stick checking with synergies activated, 89 defensive awareness. Left handed is a little bit tougher to find in terms of defensemen right now. So this could be quite usable, but again, you're going to have to pay 40k minimum, and I just think that there are probably better options out there um, on the back end. But it isn't bad at all, again, because the set prices are going to hold this card up to about 40,000 coins, but left-handed defensemen are just really tough to come by that aren't master set players. From Germany, we've got the 80 overall Max Glotzel, 6'2", left-handed defenseman with distributor as well as Bombarded. A little bit better skating, 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 97 agility. All of their agility is so high because of their base ratings. Uh, with 99 shot power, I'd much rather have him. He's just a little bit bigger. Um, and again, 89 speed is usable, especially for someone that is six foot two. So if you are struggling to find a left-handed defenseman, this would be a pretty decent one to go after. From Sweden, we've got the 88 William Eklund with Fly the Zone, as well as Magician and Thief. So with Fly the Zone, he does get up to 90 speed, 88 acceleration. He's only 5'10", though, um, so it is going to be kind of tough for him. But if you have him, let's say, untradeable, definitely still usable, especially with that max agility and elite edges. I love that combo for the skating. Shot His wrist shot is also very good, 89 accuracy, 92 power. This could be a usable winger for you if you're looking for a left-handed winger. If you put Thief on him, I still wouldn't play him at center just because he's too small, but I love William Eklund. He's going to be on the Sharks for a long time, and uh, this isn't a bad left-handed winger card. Oh, Delmont from Switzerland, a 88 overall, 5'9 defenseman uh, with distributor and gladiator. Just not... Again, five foot nine on defense is really just not usable. You're going to get mowed over way too easily and not be able to get the puck back. So while his stats are very nice, it's just not worth the investment. You're going to have to pay at least 40K because 88s are going for that price already. From Russia, we've got the 88, Daniil Cheka. Six foot three, left hand defenseman with magician and light the lamp, as well as booming shot. Uh, so his body checking will go up with booming shot activated, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. This card, again, because he's left handed, there is a lot less decent defenseman there this is basically a left-handed version of john carlson so definitely a card that you can use when you consider that he's got shut down as a superstar ability as well one of the better ones in my opinion if you can get him for 40k i think that's a decent price for him we'll see if there's any up yeah he's going for the bare minimum guys so this one would be one of the better ones if you are looking to get a defenseman maxim kajkovic six foot right winger from slovakia with booming shot as well as protector and well-rounded so his body checking will get up no matter what 89 speed 80 89 acceleration, 97 agility, and a very good shot power. The shot power is obviously nice, uh, but he's very ho hum. Like he's only six foot, which is average, and then the speed is at 90, which again is average. Um, not really much else to see here. Kind of a bland card, um, but for the bare minimum price, I think there's better right-handed wingers I'd rather go with. Like you could go and get the 88 um, uh, Matthew Barzal team of the week that is much better skating that I would much rather have than this uh, than this Maxim Kozkovic. Jeremy Berchi from Switzerland with Workhorse as well as Booming Shot and Magician. I'd rather activate Booming Shot. He's 5'10", a little bit smaller, and his speed is at 88. Just really not worth it. His shot is nothing special other than the power at 99. Um, yeah, just not worth it here. His face-offs, he is a right winger, is up at 90, but I wouldn't want to use a 5'10 defenseman, or centerman, sorry. Now on to some of the more improved ones. We've got the 89 Atu Ratty from Finland with Booming Shot as well as Gladiator and Well-Rounded, so his body checking can get up to 89. 90 speed. Speed, 90 acceleration, 96 agility, a good wrist shot both in the 90s, hand stats all in the high 80s, low 90s. Um, definitely a usable left-handed winger card. I'm not a big fan of ankle breaker though, however, um, but if you had gladiator and booming shot activated, that would max out his agility um, as well as get a shot hour up just a little bit more. I think this is definitely a usable left-handed winger card if you are looking for someone, but if it's in the 88 to, to 90 range, I mean like the base Connor McDavid would be much better than this card. The other fin is the 89 Topi Nimila, 5'11", right-handed defenseman with Bombarded, Light the Lamp, as well as Buzzing and Wingman. 91 speed, 90 acceleration. The speed does make him a little bit more useful, and his body checking is actually half-decent at 89. Definitely a usable card if you are looking for a right-handed defenseman. There is a lot of options for right-handed defense in that 88 to 90 range, however. Um, if you have him tradable, I'd probably sell um, but that's just me. From the U.S., bumped up to a 90 overall. We've got Antonio Stranges with Workhorse and Distributor. Honestly, one of the worst builds. I mean, under 90 speed, 5'10 center. You got to play him on the wing. 
decent shot at low 90s accuracy, mid 90s power, and the hand stats are all pretty good. I just think that there are much better better cards i do like the combo again i've said this time and time again that getting a card that has workhorse and distributor activated allows you to actually activate multiple skating synergies on your team however someone this small you want to play at the wing not center uh just kind of a tough build here definitely still decent like if you had him untradeable i probably wouldn't trade him in i think he's still worth a little bit to actually use on your team unless you had a jack team but this is probably just a sell for me then we've got the 90 tanner dickinson six foot only 154 but has magician as well as booming shot uh, which would get his body checking into the high 80s. Speeds up at 93, acceleration 93. It's one of the fastest left-handed wingers in the game right now. You could play him at center as well at 88 on the draw, 90 defensive awareness. He might get bumped off pretty easily at 154 pounds, so that does play into it, but he does have silver wheels, and you can play him on the wing at 93 speed. This is a nice combo. Um, it's going to depend on how much he's going for. I picked him up for 50K at the launch of this event, and he's going in the mid-60s. Like, if he gets into that 50 to 60 range, I think this is definitely a decent buy just because, again, it's very difficult to find cards that are that fast among left handed wingers. And then lastly, we've got the Canadians 91 Mason McTavish with Wingman and Applesauce as well as Buzzing and Magician. So speed can get up to 90, acceleration 91, agility almost max at 97. His shot is all in the 90s as well. Hand stats are a little mixed. Passing can get up to 96, puck control 92. Just kind of a weird build. Um, great defensive stats and defensive awareness and stick checking in the high to mid 90s. Can use him at center with that face off at 81, but I probably wouldn't. You want to use him on the wing at 6-1 with 90 speed, 91 acceleration. It's like not exceptional. So in all honesty, like I, I'd be willing to bet that he's going for around 60K, and he is. Like I'd rather have Dickinson than him. And the problem with all of these cards, guys, is a lot of people bought them with the intention of flipping. So everyone is selling all of their cards right now because no one bought them with the intention that if they went up, they'd actually use them. So you have to keep that in mind. A lot of people called the shot their shot. Like, I, I, this one is not worth the, the price tag right now at all. So I'd probably either hold on until we get like a 91 overall set, but I don't know if that'll ever happen because there still isn't an 88 overall plus set. I would probably sell if I haven't traded. And then lastly, we've got the 91 Shane Wright booming shot as well as spark and fly the zone. So you can get his speed up to 92, acceleration 92, agility 96. And then his shot all in the mid 90s, hand stats in the high 90s, low body checking at 84 or lower, and 90 defensive awareness, 95 stick checking makes him a very good left or right handed winger. I wouldn't use him at center um, just because I think that his skill set plays a little bit more uh, to the wing. You could take off fly the zone and add thief, which might not be a terrible idea against center. You don't need as much speed. Um, if that's all going to be personal preference. But if you have this card, if you have him untradeable, he'll definitely make your team. If you want to go out and buy him, like, 100 k I don't know if I would spend that on this card. I... 92 speed and acceleration is nice, though, on both. So I will say that. I think with the wrist shot at 92 and 95, it's close, in all honesty. Um, but there are a lot of good right-handed wingers, so I'll say that. So, guys, I hope you listened and saved all of your World Junior cards or your packs. You can go ahead and open those World Junior uh, Choice packs, and hopefully you'll pull one of the higher-end cards if you're looking um, to try and upgrade your team there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.